Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Chris here again with another cigar review similar to the Crazy Alice. Uh, this is the Drew Estates uh, Deadwood um, Fat Bottom Betty. Um, I had this one here as well, same place as I had the uh, the uh, the Crazy Alice in in Florida there that one year, and. Um, yeah, it was really great. Yeah, the bride let me try one of uh, one of their cigars, and uh, really, really like the flavors to it. Uh, very different than what I was used to. So um, before I left, I was able to. Uh, we drove down to the uh, cigar shop, and uh, and uh, and picked up a box of this and a box of the Crazy Alice. And uh, as much as I want to give you guys uh, one of these cigars to add to the humidor. I have a bride that um, bride and groom that were over um, a little while ago. We were kind of going through my humidor because they're right into cigars as well. Uh, saw that I had these, and uh, they went nuts. Uh, she has a, um, a tattoo on her that's very similar to to this. The very you know the the day of the dead kind of look. Uh, it's going to be kind of a really kind of a cool wedding kind of in that motif. So they. They wanted both of these boxes for their cigar bar. Um, so um, I have a hard time saying no to my brides and grooms because uh, they're amazing and uh, and they pick me and I want to do a good job for them. So of course I'm going to say yes to them. And um, I uh, next time I'm down in Florida, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this spring, um, I'm hoping uh, before it gets absolutely nuts here. Uh, I'm gonna try to replace these boxes uh, because they're really cool uh, boxes to begin with, and uh, but they taste really really great. So um, yeah, this is the Fat Bottom Betty by uh, Drew Estates, and Jonathan Drew is amazing. He's super cool. He's actually got a really cool humidor out right now that has all of these types of cigars to it. And it's the shape of a coffin. And John, Jonathan, I want one of those cigars, those humidors. I love my humidors. I've got, I've got seven of them here. Uh, I absolutely love them. It's, it's they're like a, a good looking humidor is an absolute piece of art, you know. And uh, and that's kind of how I treat treat my humidors, as as uh, pieces of art. Um, I've definitely got three that are definitely in that category as as pieces of art. Um, the other. Uh, two are kind of plainer but they're really 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 nice and they definitely do a great job um and then my other two are are um uh just kind of tupperware kind of containers that that are storing my boxes and everything else so but uh, i really want a jonathan drew's um um coffin humidor i would love to to have one of those to do a complete full-on review and uh, and then store cigars in it and just keep showing this thing off and and uh, and uh, you know I'm, obviously I'm going to promote John whenever I possibly can because the guy's amazing, super super cool dude, um, and, and super great guy too. Like like the guy's an absolute rock star, but he's completely laid back and easygoing, and and I mean his work shows for itself. So anyway, let's uh, let's open this box here um, again with. Uh, the Lynx from Delta 7, uh, absolutely stunning knife. And uh, Alex is up, Alex, uh, Alexander Forsyth, he's always up to new things, building cool knives, but that is such a, an original look. And very, very cool. This thing is razor sharp. And uh, uh, this is uh, all 3D printed, the handle and the sheath. And this thing is just, like this is a, a, a sturdy, sharp knife. So. Uh, he's got a great deal on them right now, um, so definitely check check Alex out at Delta Seven. I'll put a link in the uh, description below, and uh, and tell him you sent me. Uh, tell him I sent you, uh, and he'll totally 100% sort you out. So, and he's a he's a great guy, a really really great guy. He comes from a an unbelievably great family. Uh, his dad and I actually used to fly together at a company called Bearskin Airlines. Um, and you could write a, a, a complete book on the absolute nutty, nutty things that went on at Bearskin Airlines. Um, I'll definitely get into maybe some some of those stories at some other point. But uh, 
yeah, the Barrow is easily probably one of the best companies I ever flew for. And, uh, and Harvey, the owner, Harvey Friesen, um, he passed away quite a few years ago. But he was, uh, not only was he an amazing, amazing owner, um, the, and, and, uh, um, like, a, an entrepreneur, but he opened up the North and Northern Ontario, like, helped with that, but he was a great guy, and, uh, incredibly, incredibly proud, uh, and fortunate to have been able to call him a friend as well, you know, um, I, I think of Harvey a lot, and, uh, and, and my time at the Bear, and, uh, I was just really fortunate to have had a, not only a really great boss, but a, but a good friend. Uh, and he really looked after, looked after his pilots. Nice, nice guy. Um, it was devastating when I, when I heard when he passed, but uh, um, yeah, nice, really great guy. So anyway, here is the cigars. Um, I've never actually opened a box of these before. I was just given... Uh, one at this wedding I was at down in uh, in Florida, and uh, it was they were great. And uh, then I went and bought this box for myself, put it in a humidor, and uh, it's the first time I've I've seen the uh, box open. So uh, maybe it's the first time you guys have seen an open box of this as well. So uh, really nice display, um, very cool looking cigar. I'll zoom out a bit here so you guys can see the whole whole deal. Um, yeah, the, uh, let's see here if I can take one of these out without buggering up the, uh, the look of it, because these aren't mine anymore. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Like, this cigar is an absolute top-notch, perfect shape. The humidor does a very, very, very good job of keeping my cigars in pristine condition, uh, even in the boxes like this. So, um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. And you can see... If you, um, when you go cigar shopping, um, one thing you want to do is to kind of give it a little squeeze. Kind of like um, when you go fruit shopping, you want to give it a bit of a squeeze. You don't want something, like if you hear it crack, that means it's too dry and it's going to burn really, really hot. Uh, and it's not going to be a good smoking experience for you. So you don't want that. But you also don't want something when you, when you squeeze it, it, it gets really mushy. And you can, you, it, it feels like really, really mushy. Uh, and uh, that's that's a sign of it's been like the humidity has been far too high, and you can actually get mold in your cigar that way, and uh, and it would burn really cold, and and it would be hard to draw from as well, um, and uh, and that would be an absolute brutal, like that would even be worse than having a dry cigar, I think, in my opinion. Um, but this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. You can see, like it's just the perfect squeezability on it. It's gonna, oh my god, does that ever smell good? I uh, wish you guys could smell this. Maybe someday. My son's getting into computer sciences, um, and uh, maybe someday he'll get a smell a vision thing or whatever going on. Um, although he'll probably uh, create killer robots. <laughs> but he's a, he's a cool kid, like an unbelievably amazing, amazing person, and I'm so proud of him. He's, uh, he's my best friend. Uh, named him after my dad, so love you, Ray. Uh, but this is uh, this is the um, the Fat Bottom Betty, beautiful cigar, really, really nice, even nicer than what I uh, what I can, what I remember having it. So, um, yeah, really nice cigar. I like that. I'll put it down here so you can see better. Um, the cigar itself is a uh, five inches in length, a ring gauge of fifty four, uh, medium uh, strength on it. Uh, the wrapper color is a, is a Majuro uh, wrapper. You can see that it's uh, dark. Like Majuro means dark, and it's definitely a nice dark, oily-looking uh, wrapper. Like, look at the oil on that, eh? Like even if you can see inside the cellophane here, that's a that's a nice oily, oily wrapper. Oh, man, God, I want to smoke one of these right now. Damn it! Well, if if I can get down to Florida and I pick up an extra box, I'm going to definitely be giving some of these guys away to you guys, so uh, so we can all jo enjoy them together. Um, so uh, yeah, and it's right out of Nicaragua. This um, this cigar uh, wrapper is a USA Connecticut broadleaf uh, binder and filler, both out of Nicaragua. And uh, like I said, it's a medium body cigar. It's got notes of like earth, 
uh, some leather, a bit of spice, um, and um, um, and really kind of really that rich tobacco kind of flavors, you know, like a really rich, well put together uh, cigar. And you can see, like, like even just squeezing it like this, this is a well constructed cigar. There's no soft spots at all on this cigar at all. Like you can see, there's nothing here that's soft along the way when you when you feel it. Like this is a beautifully constructed cigar. But you wouldn't expect anything less from Jonathan Drew, you know, like he is a, an unbelievable master of his craft. And, and look at this, look at that wrapper. I mean, this is only something Jonathan can come up with. Like, he's one of the coolest guys ever. Um, next time I see him, I want him to sign maybe one of my boxes. Um, that would be cool. Get John to sign, sign a cigar box for me. Um... So anyway, yeah, well done, John. Like really, really well done. Absolutely brilliant. Um, everything I've ever had from Jonathan has been uh, from Drew Estates has been great. Um, so anyway, that is the um, the Fat Bottom Betty. Um, it's uh, it's a really, really great, great cigar. Um, it's like you know, medium to full bodied uh, aromas of of again like pipe tobacco you know like it's got that that old man i wouldn't even say old man because lots of lots of young guys i, I go to a lot of weddings quite a bit uh shooting weddings as a photographer and um i see a lot of people now smoking tobacco like like pipes and and um like i don't think i hope they don't think i'm some weirdo because i keep breezing past them as we're outside and stuff because i love the smell of pipe tobacco but i also love the smell of a really nice nice cigar too so um but i tell them that so they don't think i'm weird and uh you know but i've never smoked a pipe you know uh but i have had a lot of really nice cigars so um but um yeah but yeah it's got that that earthy tones to it that rich mocha leathery it's just perfectly balanced with a hint of spice um beautiful 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 cigar uh well done john and um yeah, so there you go. That's um, that is the Fat Bottom Betty from uh, from Drew Estates in Deadwood. I would love to get my hands on on one of Jonathan's coffin uh, humidors. Uh, that would be amazing. But uh, and like I said, I would have loved to have been able to give away one of these guys to you. Like even look at the foot band. Like foot band is really cool too. I don't know if I showed that to you or not, but it's a cool looking foot band. Um, but yeah, uh, unfortunately my bride and groom have claimed both of these boxes. Uh, I'm happy for them because they're happy and, uh, and it's going to make their wedding day experience just a little cooler. And, uh, and that's what it's all about, uh, creating great experiences. And that's, um, that's why I, I uh, I like to do this for you. Um, when I started this channel, I thought this is going to be a cool, cool thing to do, something different, and uh, maybe create a cool experience for you, you know, as you're watching through these YouTube channel uh, from a guy that has no idea what he's doing, never done this before, but having so much fun with it because of you. Um, uh, I, I like, I like creating great experiences for, for people and, uh, and, and being a wedding photographer uh, is one of the greatest, uh, greatest ways of doing that, but also, uh, giving back, you know, and it's all about giving, um, you know, anybody can take, but, uh, it feels much, much, much better to give. And, and I, oh God, I would, I would love to be there when whoever wins this humidor, if I could personally deliver it to him, driving distance or if I'm going to be down and around that area shooting a wedding that would be so cool because I would love to share that experience with you but uh you know the chances of that having is is uh is fairly slim but um anyway I would just I would love to see the look when somebody gets this uh it's going to be such a cool a cool setup for for somebody whether they're a seasoned uh aficionado of cigars somebody brand new into it or uh or just somebody who just likes to collect really super cool looking things but uh anyway uh yeah if i can get to, to uh like right now we're at 130 subs 
Uh, so we're well over over the 100 that I wanted to give this away. But if I can get to 250, I'll give two of these away. Um, and to, to win this uh, humidor, uh, once we get this thing filled up, we're looking at about probably nine cigars away from filling this guy up. Uh, I'm going to be giving it away. And, um, and possibly two if I can get to 250 subscribers. And uh, it's super easy to win. All you got to do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Um, but, uh, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for, um, um, allowing me to kind of do this and, 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 uh, it's, it's really cool that other people, um, find this interesting. I wasn't sure if anybody would or not. Um, but I'm having the best time with you guys. So I really appreciate everything. Uh, thank you for watching this and, uh, and have yourself a really great day. Take care. Bye-bye.